Curiously, being a musician, which is what I've been my whole life, led me to a number of related careers. I moved to New York City to be a songwriter. As it happens, I started to get calls from the West Coast that people wanted to put my songs in television shows. I wrote a theme song for the sitcom Who's the Boss? And a friend of mine got a big gig on a TV show called Moonlighting, and he was offered a record deal, and he turned to me and said, would I produce his record? I did not say I've never produced a record, and produced the debut album of Bruce Willis called The Return of Bruno. We sold almost two million records because of his popularity at the time. Produced the Muppet Christmas Carol. And while I was at Henson, I got a call from the president of 20th Century Fox asking if I would consider being the head of music. And my mother said something very smart. She said, why don't you try it for a year? You can always go back to writing and producing. 18 years at Fox as the head of music, 302 motion pictures, uh, probably a thousand episodes of TV. Disney called and asked if I would produce the Little Mermaid soundtrack, and I thought definitely the end of my career, that I'm now producing kids' music. Under the Sea won the Academy Award for Best Song. That led to me working at Henson, where I was starting to produce Muppet Records, another career killer, I was certain. But there was one really attractive feature to the offer. I'm gonna get paid and it's gonna be recorded and released, that's really good rather than sitting at home hoping for the ideal. Those jobs were really wonderful. You know, P.S., that's where 20th Century Fox heard about me. I read a lot every morning. I can tell you how many downloads Boogie with the Hoodie had this week, because I read a fantastic article about it's the least number of paid downloads for any number one ever, 823, but 700 million streams. And Rihanna, who's had 14 number one hits, is making a huge part of her day fashion. I think it's really interesting to see how musicians are taking the exposure they get and quickly going into other related fields because there may be more security and income potential. So the trends, I think, to follow are in the paper every morning. That's where I find out what's happening and how I should adjust my appetite for what I'm going to do next.